Hi, welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got during our half trading day of July 8, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the trade low class. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a strong opportunity to buy energy sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $37.11. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.59. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Philips 66 company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 11.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $66.56. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.54. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Chevron Corporation was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Chevron Corporation is a bear low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.0%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $89.1. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $83.73. On the call option table, Chevron Corporation has a striking price at $85. For this option, the actual call price is at $2.99 but we expect a possible call price at $2.75. Financial sector ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Goldman Sachs Group. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 7.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $198.71. For put option, a possible put price is at $9.1. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell.
Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell American Tower. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $262.99. For put option, a possible put price is at $5.69. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the BOLO class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Amgen Incorporated is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 1.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $253.95. But we expect a possible buy price of $246.03. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Amgen Incorporated if it is below 2.65% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Amgen Incorporated has a striking price at $245. For this option, the actual call price is at $8.15, but we expect a possible call price at $5.35. Medtronic PLC is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 1.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.9%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $94.64. But we expect a possible buy price of $89.91. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Medtronic PLC if it is below 0.65% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Medtronic PLC has a striking price at $89. For this option, the actual call price is at $3.28. But we expect a possible call price at $2.52. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy General Dynamics. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $147.73. For call option, a possible call price is at $4.74. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. General Dynamics is a strong buy suggestion. It is on a bear high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 5.5%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.5%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $147.73. But we expect a possible buy price of $142.45. In addition, we suggest to stop buying General Dynamics. If it is below 3.35% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, General Dynamics has a striking price at $140. For this option, the actual call price is at $5.8. But we expect a possible call price at $4.74. Material sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. 
Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Netflix Incorporated was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Netflix Incorporated is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.3%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $491.87, but we expect a possible buy price of $477.19. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $503.27. On the put option table. Netflix Incorporated has a striking price at $520. For this option, the actual put price is at $32.85, but we expect a possible put price at 23 Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of staples sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Mondelez International. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $51.44. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.1. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Philip Morris. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 6.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $72.68. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.35. Costco Wholesale was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Costco Wholesale is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.5%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $314.85, but we expect a possible buy price of $309.11. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $321.46. On the put option table, Costco Wholesale has a striking price at $325. For this option, the actual put price is at $10.63, but we expect a possible put price at $4.73. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of technology sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Western Digital. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.3%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $42.6. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.55. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Activision Blizzard was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Activision Blizzard is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 2.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.5%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $81.05, but we expect a possible sell price of $81.38. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is 
On the call option table, Activision Blizzard has a striking price at $76. For this option, the actual call price is at $3.38, but we expect a possible call price at $1.68. Qualcomm Company is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 3.0%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.0%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $92.48, but we expect a possible sell price of $96.52. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Qualcomm Company if it is over 4.80% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Qualcomm Company has a striking price at $97. For this option, the actual put price is at $4.35, but we expect a possible put price at $2.01. Communication sector ETF belongs to the trade low class, Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Utility sector ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Duke Energy. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $80.01. For put option, a possible put price is at $2.09. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good update of our half trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.